Hello everybody and welcome to 3C Woodworking. Well this morning we're, we're taking a look at uh, the island. It's almost complete. I still have to make the drawers, or I mean the doors for it, and I've got some touch-up stain, and of course I still have to make the trim for in here. Um, really trying to get a contrast. Now this is actually going to get a piece of wood that's going to go across it after I make the center divider that's going to go here. But before I do all that, I'm going to restain, go over it one more time. Uh, this was uh, stained with dark, dark walnut on um, red oak, which is several panels glued up, which turned out really well. And then this is uh, stained with the uh, espresso. And then we'll go through and we'll look at the other side. So here's the other side. You can still see some of the scratches from the uh, from the sander, but that's not bad all in all. I went through and I put caulk all the way around the interior. There's caulk all up inside there. So that's going to help to make it uh, airtight and seal it up and I did the same thing down there now before I put the caulk in I did get um, three light coats of the wipe on poly now here on the bottom and I'll get back to that in a minute here on the bottom you see there's a contrasting color but there's going to be another board that's going to run from this side all the way over to the other side and I want to do some type of a decorative arch now back to the inside so what I did was I took and I did all of this with a few coats of the uh, polyurethane and then came back sanded it with a 400 grit even uh, even the the red oak here uh, got three coats three light coats of the wipe on poly along with the top up here and then I came back and I started caulking it up to get it sealed in so that again it's airtight I don't think that plywood does too well outside so I'm trying to close it up as well as I can now that I've got the caulk in and everything and I got the face frame done now you notice I left the inside raw which was intentional uh, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna give everything um, its final coating of the wipe on poly and but before I do that that's the touch up that I need to do so I'm gonna take and touch up the stain and then I'm gonna take and re polyurethane everything then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go ahead and do this part. But now when I do, it won't be secured until it's completely finished. That's uh, sanded, stained, and everything. And it'll be ready for uh, glue up. So, real quick recap. Here you have uh, pine, which is one inch by it's one inch wide and three inches uh, thick that sits over top of another piece of uh, pine that's underneath that this rests on top of the oak is put inside uh, of the top using cleats and even that got uh, the urethane this is a piece of corian that was cut to size and then I went all along uh, it was put in with uh, the caulk and the caulk is also all along the bottom so everything is pretty seamless and then again we have the red oak this frame is the front which is also red oak 
and when red oak gets uh, the urethane, it gets a yellowy color. And so I figured, you know, I'd like it to be bright on the inside. I can see better in there. And this, I want it dark. Uh, this way it absorbs the sun much better. Um, and hopefully it will weather nicely. This part, again, one more time. I still got to figure out what I'm going to do down here. But there's going to be a piece that's going to connect from here to there. And I'm going to get it completely finished, stained urethane, the whole nine yards, and then install it. Here on the sides, let's take a look at those. Here on the sides, you'll notice that uh, I mitered the corners. That's red oak. I left this unstained. And we'll get back to that in a moment as to why. And then... Again, miter corner. So now what I want to do is I want to go along this edge and I'm either going to put trim around that or I'm going to do some type, some type of a Kumiko panel. Um, a Kumiko panel is one of those ones where you have like this X and then there's another one here. and the one, It's really cool. It's a Japanese thing. Looks really cool. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned. You'll see more. You'll see it finished, and we'll go back over the drawing as to how it was constructed. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.